Hi everyone, this is Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Thanks for joining me today on our real estate channel. I'm on the shores of Alamusic Lake. I'm here at the boat launch. Great place to go boating, do some fishing and water skiing and other water sports. We are heading over today, right here in Orland, to look at a three to four bedroom circa 1870s Cape on five plus acres of land. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and click on the notification bell. Let's head over just a few minutes from here and take a look at the house. So we've, we've arrived here at 119 Soper Road in Orland. Let's talk real quick about the town of Orland. Population here is about 2,200 people. We're in Hancock County, we're close to the ocean. A Couple of interesting things about the town of Orland. Even though there's 2,200 people, it's, it's very rural settings here. So the house here is on five acres. So Orland is home to a couple of interesting spots, really. You have the Craig, <clears throat> excuse me, Craig Brook National Fish Hatchery, which is a fish hatchery for Atlantic salmon. They have a picnic area there. They also have a nice boat launch to the lake. You can actually get to the hiking trails of Great Pond Mountain Conservation Area. So you have 5,000 acres of hiking trails, mountain biking, horseback riding, and in the wintertime, you can do some snowmobiling there as well. Let's head into the house and take a look. We enter into the home here, into the kitchen area. Some really nice, so, some uh, antique hardwood floors here. The kim, uh, kitchen is simple, but very functional. It's nicely located where you have the, the formal dining room off one side, the living room off the other side. Just uh, basic laminate countertops here. There are stainless steel appliances. And then we do have a small pantry off the kitchen. Let's head into the living room area. So as we come into the living room, this space here is 17 by 28. So if you enjoy entertaining, you have all the space in the world to do that. We have some beautiful maple hardwood floors. And then there is access here. As you'll see, there's all kinds of natural light from these sliding doors. Sliding doors are gonna lead out into a nice slate patio area with some perennial flower gardens. And then in here, we do have cathedral ceilings. And then we have a couple of different heat options in here. We have a propane heat stove and then a direct vent monitor heater. But there is above this as well, there is a little bit of storage area. There's an attic space. So if you needed to hide some of the Christmas gifts from the kids, that might be a good spot to do it. But let's head over into the formal dining area. So off this side of the kitchen, we do come into the formal dining room. This is about 12 by 13. And I got to tell you guys, uh, the tin ceilings here are absolutely beautiful. I have rarely have I seen tin ceilings in this good a condition. So you do have some nice wood floors in here. I do like the built-in china cabinet so you can display your favorite china cabinet. If you don't have china, you could certainly put some nice family photos in there. And then it, we do have a full bathroom here off the dining area. And the full bathroom has some, again, some beautiful wood flooring. You do have a stackable washer and dryer in here and a walk-in shower. So if you're looking for a home that you need your living space to be on the first floor. Everything that you need in this house, there's plenty of space, but everything you need is on the first floor. You, do, you could make a bedroom down here. You've got your wash and dryer in your kitchen. So but let's head over into an area and make a nice office space. So the last room on the first floor, this could either be your first floor bedroom if you needed that, but it would also make a beautiful den and home office. And all kinds of natural light, as you can see here as we're filming, but. The pine flooring in here is absolutely stunning. But I wanna show you one really cool feature that I enjoy about this house. Um, there's a newel post in the staircase. You gotta check this out. So leaving, leaving the home office there, and as you can see, there's really a cool hand-hewn beam there. But this newel post, folks, uh, this isn't, just look at the grain of the wood in here and the detail they've cut in. And I'm sure that's, this was done by hand. This isn't something you're gonna to go to Home Depot and pick up for sure but extra wide staircase so we can head upstairs and take a look at the second floor. As we come up the extra wide staircase here onto the second floor, just wanna talk real quick about the heating system here. The main heating system is an oil forced hot air, but what is very typical for this age of the home, when you get to the second floor, there's not a lot of heat sources up here. And what they would do is they would just cut some vents in the floors. And you'll see that throughout the house Although we do have some, some heaters, especially in this bedroom here, let's go take a look. So the first bedroom here on the end of the house, we do have a small closet space here, do have the wood floors. And then this is the one uh, bedroom here that does have a Renai direct vent heating system. 
So leaving the first bedroom on the second floor here, we do have a nice setting area here. Put a couple of chairs in, coffee table, great place to read a book, enjoy a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. The second floor here is serviced by a full bathroom. And in this full bathroom here, we do have a tub, walk-in shower, some beautiful wood floors. Again, the pine wood floors are carrying through and a nice granite countertop. So leaving the bathroom, we do come into the second bedroom here on the, on the second floor. It does have a nice little closet space to it. Skylight here to bring in again, plenty of natural light. Let's head down to the last two bedrooms at the end of the hall. When we come down to the hallway here, let's step into this bedroom. This is a, uh, again, this is one of those areas where I had talked earlier about the floor vent. So you're gonna see a floor vent here. It's just gonna gravity feed the, uh, the, the heat's gonna come up to the second floor. So ample space here for a bedroom. Got another closet in here as well, but let's look at the last bedroom on the second floor. So finishing the, the second floor is the fourth bedroom, probably one of the smaller ones out. It's probably the smallest room. It does not have a closet, but plenty of space in here for a full bed. We do have the thermal window overlooking the front yard. So now that we've finished up the inside tour of the home, I just wanted to point out some of the yard features here for you. We ha do have the laminate decking here, the slate patio. And again, you've got all your perennial flowers that you'll be able to enjoy in the springtime. Here we are in November, so we're not seeing much in bloom, but you'll see lilac bushes that are scattered all around. You'll have a wall of lilacs here in the springtime. Great place to enjoy your, your meal here with the family. And let's take a look around. I wanna show you one of the other features out here. So I'm on the Southwest side of the house. So if you did wanna add some solar panels, there's ample sun coming through here on this five acre lot. But I also wanted to point out that we do have a guardian generator here. So if you happen to, you know, one of the things about living in rural Maine, if you happen to lose power, you're all set to have your standby generator take over for you. One of the things I really like about this location is we're so close to so many different things that the state of Maine has to offer. So right here, we're about 25 minutes to downtown Ellsworth. We're about 20 minutes to Blue Hill. And matter of fact, if uh, you've never done the hike there up Blue Hill with beautiful views of the bay, I'll put a link here to, in the description on a hike that we did up Blue Hill, so you can check that out. The city of Bangor is about 36 minutes away. Bucksport, the little town of Bucksport, is about 10 minutes away. Boston is about five hours and 20 minutes away. So just this is just a super location here in the state of Maine. If you enjoy gardening, there's plenty of space on the five acres to put in a vegetable garden. If you want to have some chickens and some other things here. We've got a little bit of breeze, breeze blowing here in November, but. 18 by 24 garden shed. It does have a nice concrete floor in here so you could store all your tools and your lawn tractor, etc. So one last thing I wanted to point out here to finish up this tour for you. We're at the Naramissic River here, just walking distance from the house here in Orland. So if you like to canoe or kayak, the scenery here is very beautiful. Let's wrap this video up for you. So we're in the town of Orland, Maine. We have this circa 1870, three to four bedroom Cape, two bathroom home on five acres. Asking price is 250000 This has been Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Hope to see you guys again real soon.